Hey, this is not too fast. I'm just sitting back enjoying a movie in my vehicle. If you want to learn more about this 10 inch DVD player, stay tuned. This is the DD Auto 10.1 inch capacitive touchscreen headrest DVD player with support for SD and USB media playback. The model number on this is DD1019HT. The unit has built-in stereo speakers along with 8-channel FM modulator so you can transmit the audio over to your car's radio. You can also get the optional infrared headset or you can plug directly into the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So let me go ahead and open this up and I'll show you what this unit looks like. Here we have the AC adapter. In this bag we have the AV cable, cigarette lighter, power cable, the user guide. These are the hardware for mounting the unit onto the headrest. And here is the 10.1 inch DD Auto DVD player. Measuring the screen size, this is indeed a 10 inch LCD display. Looking at the right side of the unit, here we have the USB port. This is the SD card slot. Here we have the headphone jack. This is the auxiliary input. And this is a DC 12 volt port to power the unit up. On the bottom side of this unit we have this single cable that goes out to this connector. And this gets connected to this wiring harness that you see right here. From this connector it goes out to this power cable so you can hardwire this to your vehicle. Also it goes to this audio video input and this audio video output. Now as a standalone unit you don't need to use this harness right here. There are a couple of other ways you can power up the unit. As I showed you earlier we have the 12 volt power input right here so you can connect the 12 volt cigarette lighter plug power adapter here or if you want you can use the AC power adapter that comes with this unit looking at the top we have an auto loading CD DVD slot where you can put your movie in here and play it now I like this design better than some of the other ones where there's a plastic cover you have to flip open to insert the disc this one makes it a lot simpler and you don't have to worry about the kids breaking it. So here I'm going to install the SD card and also a USB memory stick. To turn on the unit there is a capacitive power button right here at the bottom. Just touch that and then the unit will turn on. So let's say if you want to watch a DVD movie, take your DVD disc and turn it so that the label is away from you and then insert it into the auto loading slot at the back so here you see the movie playing So while the movie's playing, you can use the on-screen touch control to pause a movie, play the movie, skip to next chapter. Adjust the volume. Ted, honey, don't play with your food. You either, mom. So right now you see the subtitle, if you want to turn it off, you can go to the next menu, the next one here, press this button right here, here it says subtitle off. Now one must have feature on any mobile DVD player is the ability to remember where you left off on the movie. Because when you're driving on a road trip or anywhere you're going, there will be many stop and go situation so you do not want to have to start the movie all over again 
every time you start your car. So let me show you that this unit does have the memory to remember where you left off. I'm going to press play, then I'm going to kill the power to this unit, and then I'll plug the power back in, and you'll see the DVD will resume. And now I've connected the power back on. Let's turn the unit on. Disc. As you can see, the movie resume exactly where you left off last. So let's go home. If you want to eject the disc from the unit, this is the eject button. Press that. So while this unit is powered on, let's say if the person wants to just turn off the monitor and take a little break, this button right here, if you press on that, that will turn off the LCD screen. And if you tap anywhere on the screen, it will turn it back on. Also, on this home screen, if you swipe over here, you have another set of icons. This is the setup. On this setup screen, you can change the language. You can set the beep on or off. Logo. Here you can customize to whatever car manufacturer that you have. Wallpaper. Aspect ratio, 4.3 or 16.9. FMO will allow you to set this unit to transmit the audio onto the FM station. So you can have your car radio play the audio. Here we have the infrared out. And you can turn this on so that you can use the optional infrared headphone. Let's go back to the first home screen. Now, earlier I installed the SD memory card and the USB memory stick. So let me go into the SD card. Here I have a couple of movies loaded. These are all MPEG-4 movies. So let me play one of them. While watching this MPEG-4 video, you can skip anywhere in the video. Same thing, you can adjust the volume. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Bitches, right? You can pause it. Never know what they are. Play it. No need to get nasty. You gonna do something about it? You can stop it. Let's go back home. So now let's try the USB memory stick. And I have two movies on here. I want to point out one thing that I noticed with the USB memory stick, and that is when I tried the Micro Center 32 gig memory stick, I got an error. So let me plug that in and I'll show you what I mean. Here you see it has a load error, and it might be something to do with the particular brand or the read speed, I'm not sure. But here I have another USB stick with a 32 gig. I'll plug this in. As you can see, okay, and it plays the video fine. And action. But I just want to share that with you. Now let me show you how you go about installing this DVD player onto your headrest. They have included all the hardware that you need for this install. So right here you're looking at the different adapters you use for the headrest post. And they come in different sizes. So this pair right here is 16 millimeter. 
This one is 14 millimeter, this one is 12.9 millimeter, and this one is 12.2 millimeter. There's already a pair that's fitted onto the mounting hardware. This one that is on it right now is 10.2 millimeter. So let's say if you want to change to a different size of headrest post, then what we'll do is pick this up and pull this adapter out. Also this side. And then slide this adapter out. And you can see it comes apart in two pieces. Find the one that you'll need. Let's say you need this 12.2 millimeter. Then you'll fit this over the headrest post. After you fit that, then slide this metal bracket over it and do the same thing for the other post. Now you can slide this onto this adapter right here. Now what you need to do is open up this bracket that's on the DVD player and then place this over this bracket. And here we have a lock switch that you can use to lock it in place. On this Honda, the headrest post is 12.9 millimeter. So this is the 12.9 millimeter adapter I have right here. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. So now I'm going to install both pieces. We'll put the metal bracket onto adapter. Now we'll slip this piece in the middle. Slide this in. Now we'll insert the DVD player into the bracket. And then you unlock it. Now we can adjust the angle. Now we'll connect this power cable from the unit all the way to the cigarette lighter port at the front of the vehicle. Now this cable I measured it is 8 feet long. So when I turn on the ignition and I press the on off switch, now I can turn on the power to the unit. So let's go ahead and turn on the FM modulator. I'll set it to 87.7. Now I'm going to tune the car's radio to 87.7 FM. Let's play the movie. The audio sounds really good through the car speakers. So overall, this DD Auto 10.1 inch headrest DVD player works very well. I like the design of the headrest mount. It's very sturdy. It's very easy. You do not need to remove the entire headrest like some of the other design out there. And the operation of the unit is very straightforward and simple. The home screen menu items are well laid out, easy to navigate, and the icons are very big so you don't have to search for where you need to go. And I especially like the fact that this unit has a memory function to remember where you left off in the video so that you do not have to start that video all over again every time you stop and start your vehicle. And of course if you want to install this on both the driver's side and passenger side you can get two units. If you're interested in checking out this product I will put the Amazon link in the description below and if you have any questions or comments leave one in the comment section and don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.